Osiam Tanoya Titsaichama, Queen Koshamin, Rebecca Queensna. Scotmish chin, a tina chant la humat quem o homech emen. Yet one heart since quawen, quist lak no more yap eight tea, nat tea come come a lie. Scotmish oath, humat quem oath, a salewatos, high to mechit. Mechap oys. Hello, everybody. My true name is Tsitsa Echema. My English name is Rebecca. And I am Squamish, and I also come from the village of Musqueam. It is my honor to welcome you all to the sacred land we call Kamkamalai, also known as beautiful Vancouver. We are part of the Coast Salish family, which means we are people of the cedar, as you can see my cedar wear here. And we are people of the canoes, being on the water, and people of the salmon, which gives us extra rich, supple skin, and people of the longhouse. The longhouse to us is very, very sacred. It is our church, our hospital, and our school. We go there to learn, to pray, and to heal ourselves. And we, as Coast Salish people, we raise our hands in this fashion. It means so much from the heart extended out the hands, it is known as welcome. Welcome to our territory. Come feast with us. Come bust some moves. It is also a gesture of gratitude, giving thanks. It's also an acknowledgement. When we see a dear elder or friend of ours, we raise our hands and we say, Oh, Sam, it's so good to see you. So it means so many wonderful things. And don't forget, if you're going to practice this, you make sure your palms are facing you. Because if you're like this, that means I caught a salmon this big. <laughs> I'd like to share with you all one of our sacred songs, very, very old, from one of our matriarchs from long, long ago, who lived in a village we call Khwai Khwai in Stanley Park. It's a blessing song, so it's going to bring us all together in safety and in blessings, protect our children, ourselves, our spirits, and most of all, our elders. So please enjoy Sihwali Aslolam, Osiam.
Pam Tanoya, Way Chop Yo. Take care, everybody. Hey, I'm Omari. I'm Sarah Vickrek. I'm Ben. And we are your Jesse's host of this year. Uh, we just wanted to take a second to acknowledge that 2020 has been insane, uh, you know, with this global pandemic going on, and there's been lots of social justice issues that have been brought to the forefront. Uh, positive thing, Black Lives Matter movement has, has reached the mainstream. That's awesome. But we want to recognize that, you know, the Jesse Awards have, have gone through quite a few changes, and they still have a lot of work to do when it comes to inclusion and diversity. And we recognize that. And we recognize there's some controversy this year around that, but we also want to acknowledge that we, we hear you, we see you, there's work to be done, and we are happy to be part of the solution. I want to take tonight to, to celebrate our community and celebrate some of the beautiful work that has happened uh, in a year that's filled with a lot of difficulty and pain. So we hope you join us for that journey. Droplets of COVID and lineups at Save On. Whispering close is no longer a turn on. Huge killer hornets with sharp, deadly stings. These are a few of our least favorite things. Racist white people, that's everybody. Complicit upholding white supremacy. The RCMP with their fake wellness checks. What the deuce will this world come up with next? When you're laid off. When you moist cough, when you're feeling fat It's a lot to endure these least favorite things That makes your life feel real bad uh, But hang on a second, we're here to bring cheer We'll celebrate artists and shows from last year Omari and Sarah will host with aplomb too bad, so sad if you did not get nommed. The Jessies are broadcast with internet powers. Our hope is the show will run under two hours. Announcing the artists and winners with ease. Welcome to the 2020 Jessies. So sit back and relax and enjoy the show. We're online, the Jessies are ready to start. So click full screen on that window. Yes! OCM. Good evening, friends, theater lovers, creators, makers. Bonsoir, les amis, les amoureux de théâtre, les créateurs, innovateurs. Welcome to the 38th annual Jesse Richardson Professional Theater Awards. The virtual version. From your couch, put your hands together to welcome your phenomenal hosts for the evening, Omari Newton and Sarah Vickrock, featuring the musical styling of Ben Elliott. Am I on? All right. How's it going, friends? Uh, welcome to the Jessies. Uh, tonight is a celebration of great work that was done in the past. You know, so what we, want, we want to think about what is a fond memory of something that uh, you think should be acknowledged tonight? If you have one, uh, maybe there's someone in the theater community who's been doing good, who you want to recognize for a second, what you can do is you can send us an email at events at jessieawards.com. You can tag us on Twitter, on Instagram, whatever you want. You can tag us at, at jessies2020, and we will keep our eye on it, and we'll, you know, we'll amplify that signal. Um, first, we got a, a double dose of the Donnas coming up, Donna S and Donna Y, to introduce some special awards, and then we'll be right back to regale you with some online theater bliss. Good evening. Hi. How are you? Hi, Donna Marie. Well, hello, Donna Marie. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I think we're um, here because we share same first name and middle name. That's absolutely true. But we're also here because we work in this community and have worked here a long time. I think I don't recall when I first saw you or met you, but I think it had something to do with a show that you did at the Arts Club. And then you performed here. 
For many years. For many years. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice to be here celebrating the 38th uh, Jesse Awards. And I was just going to ask you, when do you remember the first Jesse Award? Uh, I actually do. I don't remember a lot of the ones in between, but I do remember the first one. I believe it must have been, oh, in 1982, <laughs> and it mm -hmm. would have been at the Arts Club, Granville Island. I can't remember who won. I just remember the community was so excited that we finally had an awards show. I remember the first Jesse I went to was 1987 at the Arts Club, Granville Island. Uh, then I think the last one I went to was the Bard on the Beach, uh, and Jesse Awards. And I don't remember as well, but I do remember it was a group and we were celebrating. It was so wonderful to be together. And I know right now we can't, but I guess this is the next this best thing. Yeah, it is, because at mm -hmm. least some of us will see each other. But mm -hmm. let's get on to this uh, that we're here to do. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to start with the outstanding performance by an actress in a supporting role, Small Theatre. And the nominees are Eileen Barrett, Escaped Alone, Western Gold Theatre, Bethany Brown, Disgraced, Vagrant Players Theatre Society, Alex Kellum Creer, Born Yesterday, Ensemble Theatre Company, Elizabeth Kirkland, The Sea, Slamming Door Artist Collective, Adriana Ravalli, The Great Canadian Porno, The Musical, Frenzied Millennial Collective, and The Jesse Goes To, and a smiley face. Outstanding performance by an actress in a supporting role of small theater, Elizabeth Kirkland, The Sea, Slamming Door Artist Collective. And I'm gonna just roar right on here to the outstanding performance by an actor in a supporting role, large theater. Sebastian Archibald, House and Home, Fire Hall Arts Center. Andrew McNee, Noises Off, Arts Club Theater Company. Anthony Santiago, Best of Enemies, Pacific Theater. Lou Tixon, Kuroko, Vancouver Asian Canadian Theater. John Yuliat, Matilda, Arts Club Theater Company in partnership with Citadel Theater and Royal Manitoba Theater Center. And the Jesse goes to John Uliat, Matilda, Arts Club Theater Company in partnership with Citadel Theater, Royal Manitoba Theater Center. Congratulations. Outstanding performance by an actress in a supporting role, large theater. Rebecca DeBoer, Best of Enemies, Pacific Theater. Tess Degenstein, Noises Off, Arts Club Theater Company. Venice Dubois, All's Well That Ends Well, Bard on the Beach Shakespeare Festival. Emma Slip, Noises Off, Arts Club Theater Company. Colleen Wheeler, Coriolanus, Bard on the Beach Shakespeare Festival. And the Jesse goes to, oh. Tess Degenstein, Noises Off, Arts Club Theater Company. Congratulations. And over to you, Donna Marie. Outstanding Direction, Large Theater. Scott Bellis, Noises Off, Arts Club Theater Company. Ashley Cochran, Cost of Living, Arts Club Theater Company, in partnership with Citadel Theater. Ian Farthing, Best of Enemies, Pacific Theater. Dean Paul Gibson, Coriolanus, Bard on the Beach Shakespeare Festival. Emile Gladstone, Kuroko, Vancouver Asian Canadian Theater. And the Jesse goes to Scott Bellis, Noises Off, Arts Club Theater. Outstanding performance by an actor in a supporting role, small theater. Stephen Aberley, The Sea, Slamming Door Artist Collective. Chris Francique, Superior Donuts, Ensemble Theater Company. Messino Frau, Zestrowski, The Master of Discipline, Star and Moon Productions. Darcy Johnson, The Drawer Boy, Ensemble Theater Company. John Murphy, Body Awareness, Mitch and Murray Productions. And the Jesse goes to Chris Francique, Superior Donuts, Ensemble Theatre Company. Outstanding Direction, Small Theatre. Chris Adams, Company, Rain City Theatre. Tamara McCarthy, The Sea. Slamming Door Artist Collective. 
Mindy Parfit, the father, the search party. Christy Webb, lungs, St. Fifi Collective. And the Jesse goes to Mindy Parfit, the father, the search party. Donna? Yes? You are the sixth person in my bubble. Am I? You are. I just, and of course, Jordan, our producer here behind the camera, and I just wanted to say, out of all the people that I've let into my bubble, um, it's really important that we do this at this time. It um, certainly is. Just to bring people together and celebrate artistic e excellence, the community, and my hope is that uh, when we all can get into each other's bubble, that it will be with equality and love and humanity. Yes, I really think Dr. Henry's done it with the be kind. Mm -hmm. We need to be kind right now. Yeah, good night. We're on! Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to be impartial, but two of my friends just won, and I was you didn't see it, but I was like, oh shit! So that's really exciting. That you said, oh shit? But I, it's exciting when I get to Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I was, uh, I was busy drying my body. That's, that's, that's yep. That's yeah. You trained your whole career for that. I did, for that, that moment. Yeah. Uh, breathing deeply. Yeah. It was good. You can't see my facial expressions. Is that throwing you off? No, but... Oh. Uh, but it's we okay. love... Uh, that's a beautiful mask you're wearing. Oh, thank you. Uh, Alea Hammer made it for me, specially designed. Uh, I'm pretty pumped How's about it. How's that? We got him unmuted. Great. Maybe we should just keep on chugging along. Let's keep chugging along. Chuggers? We're going to do uh, Career Achievement Awards right now. Yeah. So we've got the Sam Payne Award, which I will introduce first. So the Sam Payne Award. 35 years after his death, the legacy left by Sam Payne continues to be applauded by the British Columbia acting community. The Sam Payne Award, for most promising newcomer, recognizes an artist with humanity and artistic integrity whose inaugural instincts suggest a career that will honor the spirit of Sam Payne. The 2019-2020 Sam Payne Award goes to Heather Barr. Do I get to say oh shit now? Say it. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Um, great, and I'm doing the Career Achievement Award, you know, which is somebody who's been in their career for a long period of time. Yeah. And uh, so the GBPTA, a Career Achievement Award, recognize an, an individual's exemplary commitment to the theater and an, an, an elevating impact on the industry. This year's recipient is Wendy Brass Stewart. Wendy has spent nearly 50 years in the performing arts community as a performer, musical director, conductor, and educator. She has performed around the globe, and she has worked with lo local organizations like the Electric Theater Company, Touchstone Theater, Arts Club, Blackbird Theater, and many more. We celebrate her lasting contribution to the theater community directly when working on productions, as well as with programs like Gotta Sing, Gotta Dance at the Jewish Community Center inspiring young artists to sing, dance, and act. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. I would like to thank the GVPTA for honoring me with the Career Achievement Award, and to Michael Lanier and Beth Marshall for suggesting this and for making the submission. Let me give you some brief highlights of my career. Most middle-class Jewish kids growing up in post-war New York City, I went to Broadway shows with my parents every few weeks. I dreamed of conducting the Pitt Orchestra, and I conducted many records in my living room on a regular basis. My first role was in Peter Pan as Tinkerbell. I was six years old and three feet tall. I music directed my first show, South Pacific, when I was 13 for a day camp in Tarrytown. I was given a script, no score, so I played it all by ear in the preferred key for each of the teenage actors. Later, I went to a musical theater training program 
in upstate New York, where I played scenes opposite a young man named Stephen Schwartz. Fast forward. I did my graduate work in ethnomusicology with a focus on Coast Salish music. That research was published, as was my later research, on Northern Haida songs. We lived in Japan for many years, where I continued studying traditional music for Japanese koto, that's this, and shamisen, earning an advanced teaching license. I've arranged and accompanied many Yiddish songs for voice and piano, producing four CDs. I've even arranged some Yiddish songs for koto and voice. By the way, Yiddish was the language of my grandparents. I love arranging and conducting choral music. 20 of my pieces have been published in the US and Canada. Most recently, an arrangement of my daughter Jessica's composition. For the last 15 years, we have co-produced and music directed the annual Holocaust Commemorative Evening for the Vancouver Holocaust Education Center. In theater, I've thoroughly enjoyed working with you. Where? at Theatre Under the Stars, The Arts Club, Electric Company, Touchstone Theatre, Famous Artists, Blackbird Theatre, Snapshots Collective, Presentation House, Chutzpah Festival, and 25 years at Perry Ehrlich's Gotta Sing, Gotta Dance. My husband, Ron Stewart, anthropologist and filmmaker, has been with me on this journey. Our most recent collaboration is our film company, Cultural Odyssey Films. All eight of our most recent films were shot on location in South Africa over the last 10 years. Thank you very much for this special honor. I look forward to working with you in the near future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much to the Jessies for selecting me for this award. I'd like to express my gratitude to the companies and individuals who have believed in me so far and invited me onto their projects. To Suzy Miyagashima for her mentorship and to my friends, family, and partner who have supported me through the long hours and tough days. As a stage manager, I am lucky to be in a position in rehearsal rooms where I can stand up for my colleagues, set boundaries, and be, for the most part, respected in doing so. Most emerging artists do not have that luxury. Thank you for seeing promise in my work so far. Every theater contract is an opportunity to work with and learn from a new group of brilliant artists in our community. And I look forward to discovering and addressing my blind spots, better recognizing microaggressions, and finding new ways to be a more effective ally. Thank you so, so much again for this honor. All right. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, way Beautiful. to go, everyone. Um, we were going to uh, do a joke yeah. about technical difficulties here. Yep. And instead, we've been doing it for the last 20 minutes. So we'll just power we're, through yeah. with the awards. <laughs> uh, in, ironically, we're doing the technical awards right now. And uh, I'll read out the first one for technical theater. Colin Campbell, the Colin Campbell for Award for Excellence in Technical Theater. Oh, there we go. I had a difficulty there. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Colin Campbell Award for Excellence in Technical Theater reflects the dedication, professionalism, and absolute commitment to the highest production and artistic standards possible of its namesake. The Colin Campbell Award for the 2019-2020 season goes to Elia Kirby. Yay! <clears throat> All right, and I have the Mary Phillips Award. It is presented to someone who has worked tirelessly behind the scenes for the community and yet has never taken a bow. Someone who exemplifies the spirit and dedication that was Mary. This winner receives a Jesse statue and is chosen by a committee from the theater community and David Phillips. The Mary Phillips Award for the 2019-2020 season goes to Connor Moore. Yay! Yay. Connor Moore! Congratulations, buddy! Connor! All right. Now, the Gordon Armstrong Playwrights Rent Award. The Gordon Armstrong Playwrights Rent Award, born directly from Gordon's estate, continues to be supported through artists helping artists and through the community. We thank our 2019-2020 season sponsors, Mark Wilson, Keenan McKenzie, William Rubel, and Stephen Heatley. Nominated by Stephen Aberly, this year's recipient co-founded and coordinates The Flame, Vancouver Storytelling Series. 
Now in its 11th season, The Flame continues to provide a marvelous, joy-filled resource whose work celebrates the essential power of the liveness of theater. We are pleased to offer this year's GAPRA certificate and cash award of $600 to actor and playwright Deborah Williams. Oh. Have either of you been on The Flame? I have not. Nope. Have, have you yeah, done? Yeah, I've, I've uh, played music at The Flame. Oh, oh cool. Have, yeah. you, have you? Yeah, I played music oh. at The Flame and I did a story about my hair at oh, The Flame. Cool. So you've, you've both been on and I haven't been on. No. Cool. Really cool. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Sydney Risk Award! Uh, the Sydney Risk Award was a pioneer of live theater. Not the award, sorry, just Sydney Risk was a pioneer of live theater. The Sydney Risk Award has been established and awarded at the Jessies since 1988. That's when I was born. In honor of Sydney's encouragement of playwrights, this award seeks to honor and continue city, Sydney's inspiration of young people embarking on careers as professionals in theater. The Sydney Risk Award for 2019-2020 goes to Derek Chan. Hello, good evening. Uh, uh, it is a surprise, I almost didn't respond to the email because I thought it was uh, junk mail. Um, I don't win very many awards, so it was uh, something to be, and I'm honored to have uh, received this award, uh, the Colin Campbell Award for Technical Theater. Uh, and I'm uh, very proud of all the work that um, I and many people that I've worked with have done on all those projects over the years. And um, and grateful and thank you to the Jesse committee and the nom whoever nominated me and um, yeah and it's particularly strange to be receiving this uh, during this time when we're all um, oddly uh, isolated and um, uh, I look forward to a time when we actually get to celebrate this together and I'm looking forward to when it's all done. I'm also looking forward to all the hard work that we're going to have to do to um, address some of the real challenges ahead, uh, environmental, racial, social, um, and, and thinking about my own position in this um, uh, and uh, a lot that I haven't done um, and a lot that can be done and a lot that I look forward to changing uh, with uh, many people's help and um, yeah and uh, enjoy your evening thanks hi everyone i am deeply honored to receive this award but also very undeserving this award belongs to the entire vancouver design community to the vancouver design forum and to the associated designers of canada most importantly it belongs to the following people carmen alatore without whom there would be no Vancouver design advocacy. Michelle Cutler, the strongest and most eloquent voice in the Vancouver design community. Jen Stewart, one of the most diligent and dedicated organizers I've ever met. Kim Pertel, the vice president of ADC, whose incredible advocacy has led the design community during the COVID-19 crisis. And most importantly, Gail Packwood, the executive director of ADC, who has done more than anyone else ever in Canada to advocate for designers. Everything I know about advocacy I learned from Gail. Most importantly, Black Lives Matter, Indigenous Lives Matter, BIPOC Lives Matter. Racism and white supremacy infect every single societal institution in Canada. It is the responsibility of those of us who have benefited from these structures to dismantle and eradicate them. Thank you. This is a Derek Chan Sydney Risk Award uh, speech. Thank you to everyone who stood by my side all these years. I've been lost and found and often lost again. My friends, collaborators, mentors, teachers, and partners in love and crime, Pedro Tamale, Maria Zarillo, Heidi Taylor, and everyone at Playwrights Theatre Center, my teachers at SFU and many, many other folks over the years who have spoken to me, guided me, loved me, forgiven me, and believed in me. I thank you. Thank you. Indigenous lives matter. Black lives matter. I am a Hong Konger, cisgendered man, living and working on stolen First Nations land. I speak and I write in the language of my British colonizer while at the same time rekindling my troublesome relationship with the language of my mother. I'm not Chinese. I'm a Hong Konger. 
I'm in many ways privileged, but I also grew up not knowing democracy, nor freedom of speech, self-determination. And now, by some twisted fate, I stand in front of you, given the privilege to think, to speak, and to be heard. I don't claim to speak for anybody but myself. My words are far from definitive or profound. I know that, so don't listen to me, but instead listen to everybody else. The voiceless, the silenced, and the oppressed. Listen to those who don't have a voice. Listen to those who can't breathe. Listen to those who just can't breathe. Listen and take action. Listen. Take action. Change is messy. Change takes time. Change is scary and change hurts sometimes. But change is necessary. So take action. Do something. Do something even when you can't. Fight for something you believe in. Believe in something, people. Believe in something. Fuck the Chinese Communist Party. Fuck Xi Jinping. Fuck Carrie Lam. 平凡六四，光复香港时代革命，五大诉求缺一不可。香港人加油！哇、wow. yeah. I, ！I don't really know what to, what to say. That was profound. Speechless. And now, now here's three idiots making jokes about awards. Uh huh. Um. Hey, anybody in some shows that were canceled right as COVID hit? Oh yeah. 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 I was I was supposed to direct the show. You were supposed to direct it. Hey, that's great. Which one were you going to direct? Ah,、uh, it hasn't been announced yet, so I can't even、oh, okay. I can't even say. But yeah. Okay. You, you were you supposed yep, to? Yeah, I was supposed to do another tour of Love Bomb、oh. that got schmookied. Were you doing anything, Ben? Yeah, I was going to be、uh, at Bart on the Beach. Oh. Doing、uh, Love Slavers Lost.、Uh, wow. Yeah. A lot of lost.、Yeah. A lot of loss. Loss. Lot of. Hey. A lot of canceled hey, shows. Hey, Amari. Yeah. Have you cast all the roles in the show you're directing? Uh, no. I mean, all the characters are are black in the show, but I haven't I haven't cast it yet. Okay.、Um, Great. But you, that's but, not. But there's other shows. I I think I might be available for. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. To a, direct? Yeah, a bunch of shows got canceled, and I think I'm up for them. Oh, to direct any? Okay.、Mm -hmm. Have you cast all those roles? No, those I have not cast. So, like. Maybe I could audition for you. Yeah, you should totally audition for Omari right now. Yeah. Sure, I'm totally down for that. But I, I we're really running long time, so you got about like、mm, 30 seconds for each play. Is that cool? That's a lot of time, actually. 30 seconds. For okay,、me. great. Well, let's just run through it. Do、okay. you have anything prepared, or just you're gonna just、no. let it rip? Everybody's. We're good. Okay, I'll call it out and sh show me what、oh, you got. Not on. Here I am. I'm in frame. I'm in frame. Ah,、uh, ready? Okay, go. Every brilliant thing. Yo yo. Carried away on the crest of a wave. Okay, really nice, really nice. The house at Pooh Corner. Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the. Okay, a kid like Jake. I'm a kid like. My name's Jake. Still falling. The boy in the moon. Yeah, you're still falling. The boy in the moon. The boy in the moon. The boy in the moon. Why is it a boy in the moon? The... I'm a trans. I'm a non-binary person on the moon. Okay, great. Great. Lampedusa. From Alaska. Hey, welcome to Canada. The burden of life. Ah ha! Screwball comedy. Look back in anger. Wow! Les merveilles voyages d'Inès de l'Ouest. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> Bienvenue, lovesick. I love you, babe. <laughs> Sedna. What? Sedna. And white noise in the savage society. I just have to open my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Okay. Can I do? Uh, listen. Don't call us. I'll call you if we need you. It's great. I like uh, I like getting calls. Hey. Come on, Mari. Hey, uh, thank you. There we go. There it is. Okay. Well, that was all the canceled shows. Yeah. It and was. actually, not all of the canceled shows. I don't think. I think there's a lot. Probably more, or、no. postponed shows, yeah, or rescheduled shows. Exactly. Hey, we're all there with you. That sucks. But the cool thing is, we all—well, I mean, cool or not cool—we're all there. We've all had that happen、mm -hmm. to us to collect collectively as a group.、Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, lo looking at the small things that can bond us or join us together. So are, are good. Yeah. Yeah. So our next set of video awards coming up are going to be introduced by. I cannot read my paper. By、uh, Jim, Jim and Christina. And there we go. Yeah. Jim and Christina.、Great. Sorry. Hello,、uh, I'm Jim Paris Ram, and I work at Rumble Theater as the artistic director. 
and my name is Christine Quintana and I'm the co-artistic director of Delinquent Theatre. And um, we had every intention of getting dressed up and going down to the fire hall on the day of filming. Uh, Christine wanted to get dressed up, I didn't <laughs> want to get dressed up. Uh, but I did want to go to the fire hall. Uh, that would have been good. That would have been good. Yeah. Um, but that day was a hard day. Yeah. And you know, some days are hard right now, or I don't know, maybe just in general too. But uh, that's okay. Yeah, and uh, you know, we're really excited to be here at home in our pajamas still presenting these amazing categories uh, because maybe the way that we show up for each other these days is going to look a little different. Yeah, and uh, you know, if you're uh, a little bit like me, uh, it's kind of awesome because you get to show up and not have to see anybody, which is... Um, <laughs> It's handy. Hey, it's okay too. Yeah. So if you're not feeling like getting dressed up or doing the whole thing, cheers to you. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we're going to read some stuff for you. Okay. Our first category, outstanding costume design for large theater. Uh, let's do it. We'll switch on. You mean like you got to Okay. Yeah. yeah we'll uh, Carmen Alatore for All's Well That Ends Well, Bard on the Beach, Shakespeare Festival. Mara Gottler for Taming of the Shrew, Bard on the Beach, Shakespeare Festival. Christine Reimer for Kuroko, Vancouver Asian Canadian Theatre. Christine Reimer again for Noises Off, Arts Club Theatre Company. And Corey Sinsens for Shakespeare in Love, Bard on the Beach, Shakespeare Festival. And the winner is Jesse goes the to. Jesse Goes To. Corey Sinsens for Shakespeare in Love, Bard on the Beach, Shakespeare Festival. Hey! hey. Cheers! <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, next category. Okay, uh, next one is Outstanding Costume Design, Small Theater. First up is C.S. Ferguson Ball. Mix by Lily, uh, company is Lily Robinson, <laughs> in partnership with Playwrights Theatre Center. Next up is Hilary Jardine for Zestrazzi, the Master of Discipline, Star and Moon Productions. Jessica Ustergo, The Father, Company, The Search Party. Cheyenne Rouleau and Chantel Short for The Sea, Slamming Door Artist Collective. Christina Snis Sinosic and Donny Tijani, Production, Company. Co uh, company, Rain City <laughs> Theater. Uh, and also, uh, Christina and Donnie, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. I promise people do it to me all the time, and it sucks. Um, so I suck. Uh, okay, right. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, we gotta figure this out. This one has a happy face on it. The other one didn't have a happy face on it, so. Uh, the Jesse goes to... Chris. Dina Sinosic and Donnie Tijani. I got to have to, I got to say your name again. So that's that's awesome. Uh, production is company and company is Rain City Theater. Hey! hey congratulations! Hey. hey! You got it, Jesse. Our next category: Outstanding Original Scripts. Nominees are Jan J D Derbyshire for Certified with Touchstone Theater. Derek Chan. For Chicken Girl, Rice and Beans Theater, in partnership with Playwrights Theater Center. Tetsuro Shigematsu for Kuroko, Vancouver Asian Canadian Theater. Deborah Vogt for Big Sister, Rapid Pitch Productions. And the Jesse goes to <gasps> Jan JD Derbyshire for Certified with Touchstone Theater. Hey. Hey. Oh my god, here we go. Oh, oh. Okay, ooh, big category. Okay. Big category. Right. <laughs> okay. Critics' Choice Innovation Award. Uh, first up, All's Well That Ends Well, Bard on the Beach Shakespeare Festival. Anywhere But Here, Electric Company Theatre in association with Playwrights Theatre Center. Certified Touchstone Theatre. Kuroko, Vancouver Asian Canadian Theatre. Dick de Miltna, Rumble Theatre, and the unfortunately named <laughs> Pandemic Theatre. Uh, and? and the Jesse goes to you. This one says you, you did, great did great on the back. You did great. We did. We did. <laughs> Let's see. Certified Touchstone Theatre. Hey! hey. <laughs> we got two more. Oh, two more, okay. Mm -hmm. Next up, 
significant artistic achievement, small theater. Outstanding ensemble performance. Caitlin Clugston, Graham Coffing, Nick Fontaine, Janet Giuliani, Alex Gullison, Warren Kimmel, Steve Maddock, Jenny Newman, Anthony Santiago, Madeline Sadeby, Jennifer Seractos, Lindsay Ann Warnock, Jonathan Winsby, and Katie Wright for Company with Rain City Theatre. The next one is Outstanding Transformation of Space and Audience Immersion. The names are not applicable, but the production is Deep Into Darkness, Third Wheel Productions. Outstanding Musical Direction, Sean Bainton for Herringbone with Patrick Street Productions. Can't believe you're vaping. <laughs> it's my house, I can do what I want. Uh, <laughs> The next one is Outstanding Integrity in Casting. Uh, the names are, again, not applicable. Interesting. Uh, and uh, production is Transcripts Part 1, The Women, ZZ Theatre and the Frank Theatre in partnership with Firehall Arts Centre. And this one's also a smiley face. The Jesse goes to... Outstanding oh, ensemble okay, performance. Yes. Uh, that is Caitlin Clugston, Graham Coffing, Nick Fontaine, Janet Giuliani, Alex Gelson, Warren Kimmel, Steve Maddock, Jenny Newman, Anthony Santiago, Madeline Sedeby, Jennifer Serratus, Lindsay Ann Warnock, Jonathan Winsby, Katie Wright for company with Rain City Theater. Rain City. Hey, Jesus. Alright. Woo! Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, big one. Alright. Big category. And the the final one that we've got here for you is Outstanding Production Musical Small Theatre. First up, Company by Rain City Theatre. And next, Herringbone Patrick Street Productions. And the Jesse goes to Final Happy Face. Company, Rain City Theater. Amazing. Well, cheers to all the winners, all the nominees, and cheers to you if you're keeping on. Keep on keeping on. We'll see you when we see you. Bye. Oh. Thank you to our sponsors. Canadian Actors' Equity Association. Theater at UBC. Red Management, Christy Lights, Pro Show Audio Visual, The Georgia Strait, Lucas Talent, The Talent House, UBCP Actra, Langara College, Snowath Lelum, Stage One Accounting, DeCosta Talent. Wow, thanks, Ben. No problem, Sarah. Playing us back in. You know what that makes me feel like I want to do? What? Dance. Oh, really? Yeah, I feel like dancing. Okay, for any particular reason? Well, or? you know, I think a big letdown this year is no pride. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, there's still pride in my heart. Sure. But like, no pride dancing. I wasn't a huge parade goer, but you know, no pride parade, yeah. no pride. So, uh, you know, maybe. We should do a little dancing. I'm, I'm prepared. Yeah, I think. Uh, do I maybe? I mean, oh, sure. Wow. I just, oh. I just happen to have this on me, in solidarity. Because what an ally! You're such an ally. I try. I do what yeah. I can. What about you, Ben? I'm an ally too. Oh, oh. Look at this. <laughs> perfectly placed. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Either of you, 
No. So I danced with the with the ghost light. It was a, a better choice. It was illuminating. Thank you. Yeah. 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 A You're right. It's probably a, a better dancer. A bright than decision. Yeah. You're <laughs> electric. I just uh, I was, uh, anyone, uh, tweet if you could recognize the song. Yeah. Uh, hashtag 2020 Jessies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think, I think also we're supposed to mention that if you're looking for closed caption, yes. you need to go to YouTube to get it. That's YouTube right. is where that will be enabled for you. That's right. Yeah. I think we have some more awards yeah. to be uh, given out right now. Um, we're actually going to look at some special awards. And I can start off with the Ray Michael Award. All right. Ray, Ray, Raymond G. Michael, in 1972, co-founded City Stage Theater with George Plowski. After the closure of City Stage in 1987, he continued to produce and direct works for other Canadian theaters, such as the Arts Club. In, honor, in his honor, the Jesse Richardson Awards created by Ray, created the Ray Michael Award for Outstanding Work and or Body of Work by an Emerging Director awarded annually. And this year's winner is Chris Lamb. Yay! Great. Uh, I'm going to go to the Critics, Critics' Choice Innovation Award. In choosing the nominees and winner for the Innovation Award, the committee looks for depth and originality of innovation, as well as sustained artistic impact. 2019-2020 Critics' Choice Award is to Touchstones Certified. Yes. Fantastic. Next we have the John Moffat and Larry Lillo Award. This award commemorates John and Larry, two integral members of the Vancouver theater community who were prodigiously talented artists and lovers of life and who were sadly taken by the AIDS pandemic. Both men were recipients of numerous Jesse Richardson Awards. John for his work as an actor, Larry for his work as a director. This award is presented to an outstanding West Coast theater artist for a project, a course of study, or to fulfill their heart's desire. Presented by the family and friends of John and Larry and the Jesse Richardson Theater Awards, this year's winner is Jerry McKay. Here we go, Jerry. Patron of the Arts Award. The Patron of the Arts Award recognizes outstanding contribution to theater, not as a practitioner, but as an integral supporter that advances the ecology through their dedication, support, and contribu contribution of expertise or resources. This year's joint recipients are Ken Gracie and Philip Waddell, who, are, who have a long history of supporting many theater and arts organizations in our community for decades, including Frank Theater, the Colch, ZZ Theater, and the Queer Arts Festival. Not only do they contribute directly, should I do that one more time? I feel like I keep the yeah, applause. Well, they've, right. done, they've done a lot, these yeah, guys. Yeah, they've these, done a lot of stuff. These humans. Uh, not only do they contribute directly, they have also worked to encourage others to support and value the arts and culture sector. Thank you. Wow. And finally, the Vancouver Now Representation Award. The Vancouver Now Award is presented to an individual, initiative, or company who nourishes the values of empathy, reciprocity, compassion, and responsibility, all while empowering the voices of those who have been historically silenced. The 2020 Jesse Richardson Awards uh, are pleased to present this year's Vancouver Now Award to Heidi Taylor. Hang on. Heidi Taylor is the artistic and executive director of Playwrights Theatre Centre and has consistently shown her commitment to inclusion and dedication to nurturing marginalized, racialized, and silenced artists. She is active in various community leadership initiatives, including the Equity in Theatre Steering Committee, Theatre Engagement Project Steering Committee, and as a PACT Speculator Caucus Co-Chair. She is a former president of LMDA Canada and a sought-after moderator for conferences and post-show audience engagement. She is actively engaged in inclusion initiatives at the national level and strives to be a respectful and useful ally in the process of decolonization in theater. Now, some love for the great Heidi Taylor. I don't even think I knew what all those letters meant. Neither did I. No. But she's awesome. She's that's awesome. what they that's mean. What they they mean. mean she's awesome. Good evening. We salute the winners this year in the various categories. We are grateful for all your work. Thank you. Philip and I believe that a vibrant theater 
and arts community is essential for society. In the Vancouver area, everywhere, actors, theater organizations, and all social services and creative structures are struggling for their survival. The world has changed. Many of the democratic values and freedoms that we cherish are under direct attack. It's our humble opinion that a vibrant theater community is essential at all times for a civilized and compassionate society to exist and to flourish. Philip and I encourage financial support wherever possible. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, uh, I'm Jerry McKay, and I'm this year's recipient of the John Moffat Larry Lillo Award for 2020. I'm very proud and very honored to receive this award. And what makes it especially amazing is that I work with these two talented artists, and it's their legacy that will help me further my career goals. And I feel very grateful, and I thank you. We wanted to take a moment now to pay homage to and take a moment to remember the many great people that we lost in the community this year. Um, they may have been patrons, they may have been involved in the community in some way over the course of their life. Uh, we're just going to take a minute to read off who they are and then uh, there will be a bit of a slideshow with some of the pictures for you. So first, uh, John Mann. Actor, singer, musician, writer, and the founding member of Spirit of the West. Roy Clark, Bard on the Beach Festival, longtime security guard. Bob Naismith, actor. Shirley Douglas, actor and advocate for the arts and social justice. Sybil Thrasher, 
actor, singer, and entertainer. Tom Kerr, director, educator, founder of Western Canada Theatre Company, former artistic director of Neptune Theatre Nova Scotia. Sharon Thompson, stage manager. Sid Kozak, theatre agent and stage manager. Kerr Wells, actor, director, educator, associate professor of theatre program at SFU. Walter Learning, director, former artistic director of Playhouse Theatre Centre and former artistic director, Theatre New Brunswick. And finally, Victor Young, uh, actor. Uh, welcome back. I'd like to now read a message from the Jesse Richardson uh, Board. So, this is a message from the President of the Board. On behalf of the Board of Directors of the Jesse Richardson Award Society, congratulations to all of the nominees and winners. It was an exciting season that was sadly brought to an unexpected and incomplete end, just shy of its full glory. But we are pleased to have been able to provide this recognition and celebration. We look forward to the return of theater productions in our community, and we will be there to honor them. That's the message. Now we're going to head to the next chunk of awards coming from Sherry and Jay. Hello. Hi, everybody. I am Sherry Yoon, Artistic Director of Boca de Lupo. And I'm Jay Dodge, Artistic Producer of Boca de Lupo. Uh, the nominees for Outstanding Lighting Design Small Theatre, Celeste English, The Sea, Slamming Door Artist Collective, Itai Erdal, the Father, The Search Party. Neil Griffith, Deep Into Darkness, Third Wheel Productions. Sophie Tang, Chicken Girl, Rice and Beans Theatre in partnership with Playwrights Theatre Centre. John Weber, Escaped Alone, Western Gold Theatre. And the winner for Outstanding Lighting Design, Small Theatre goes to... Itai Ertl, the father, the search party. All right. Woo woo. Way to go. Excellent work. Congratulations. All right. This time it's for Outstanding Lighting Design, Large Theater. The nominees are Alan Brody for Coriolanus, Bard of the Beach Shakespeare Festival. Itai Ertl, Skyborn, A Land Reclamation Odyssey, Savage Society presented by The Colch. Gerald King for Kuroko. Vancouver Asian Canadian Theatre, Parjad Sharifi from Cypher, the production of Cypher at Arts Club Theatre Company in partnership with Vertigo Theatre, and Robert Wurzel and Andrew F. Griffin for A Thousand Splendid Sons at the Arts Club Theatre Company in partnership with Royal Manitoba Theatre Centre. And the winner is... 
<clears throat> Gerald King, Karuko, Vancouver Asian Canadian Theater. Yes, check it out. Woo! Way to go, Gerald. And way to go, nominees. Congratulations. So here is outstanding sound design or original composition for small theater. Owen Belton, The Father, The Search Party. Rick Calhoun, Frankenstein, Lost in Darkness, Wireless Wings Radio Ensemble. Rick Calhoun again, Superior Donuts, Ensemble Theater Company. Angelo Moroni and Mary Jane Paquette, Hello, Theater Terrific Society. Jalisa Pancanya, Annabella Ima, Soul Theater Collective. And the winner for Outstanding Sound Design or Original Composition, Small Theater, goes to... Rick Calhoun, Frankenstein, Lost in Darkness, Wireless Wings, Radio Ensemble. All right! Woo! Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, this time with Outstanding Sound Design or Original Composition, Large Theater. The nominees... Rick Calhoun, Best of Enemies, Pacific Theatre. Sammy Hatch, Kuroko, Vancouver Asian Canadian Theatre. Alessandro Giuliani, Coriolanus, Bard on the Beach Shakespeare Festival. Again, Alessandro Giuliani for The Great Leap, this time with the Arts Club Theatre Company. And finally, Ruby Singh for All's Well That Ends Well, Bard on the Beach Shakespeare Festival. And the winner is... Alessandro Giuliani, The Great Leap, Arts Club Theatre Company. All right. Woo. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations, Congratulations everyone. AJ. Everyone's a winner. Okay, this time we are uh, presenting the award for Significant Artistic Achievement Large Theatre. So buckle your seatbelts. This is a long one. First is Outstanding Innovation and Immersive Storytelling for Alley Theatre and Touchstone Theatre for their production of Inheritance, a Pick the Path experience. And this, uh, the group that put this together includes Alley Theatre and Touchstone Theatre in association with Vancouver Moving Theatre and community partnership with Vancouver Aboriginal Friendship Centre. The second in this category is Outstanding Projection Design for uh, Shimmerick and the production of The Great Leap at the Arts Club Theatre Company. Third is Outstanding Video and Projection Design, Emily Susanna, Crystal Sparrow, and Carrie Lynn Victor for Skyborn. A Land Reclamation Project, that's a Savage Society production presented at the Kulch. Um, fourth is Outstanding Choreography, Tara Cheyenne Friedenberg for Cypher, an Arts Club Theatre Company production in partnership with Vertigo Theatre. And last but not least, Outstanding Audience Engagement through the Use of Technology, Théâtre Le Seizième for Le No Show Vancouver, and that's Théâtre Le Seizième in partnership with Théâtre Du Bonquet, and Le Collectif Nous Sommes Ici from Quebec. All right. And the winner is. Outstanding, innovative and immersive storytelling, Alley Theatre and Touchstone Theatre, Inheritance, A Pick the Path Experience, Alley Theatre, Touchstone Theatre, Vancouver Moving Theatre, and community partnership with Vancouver Aboriginal Friendship Centre. All right, all right. Woo! 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 Way to go, everybody. Artistic achievement. Amazing. We're here to read the nominations for Outstanding Production, Small Theatre. Annabella Ima, Soul Theatre Collective. Superior Donuts, Ensemble Theatre Company. The Father, The Search Party. The C, Slamming Door Artist Collective. And the winner of Outstanding Production Play Small Theater goes to. The Father, The Search Party. Congratulations to everybody. And next we have a man who needs no introduction. I am really glad to be here, I'm just saying. 
Who are you? Who am I? Oh, yes, I'm Tanya Dixon Warren. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> and who are you? I could, uh, um, uh, Come on, who are you? I'm Christopher Gaze. It's wonderful to be here. Wonderful and to I be here. And I love to gaze at you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, I have to just say a couple things. I'm really, really thrilled and honored to be here because I am so lucky to work in, I think, one of the most kick-ass communities have got so much tenacity, so much bravery, so much um, pushing through hard stuff. And I just thank you, every single one of you. You kick, just rock my world. See, I get all gushy. There we are. Thank you. Well Go. done. <laughs> well done, Tanya. Why didn't you read one of those? All right. All right. Here we go. Outstanding production of a musical large theater. Holiday at the Elbow Room Cafe, ZZ Theater and the Culch. Matilda, Arts Club Theater Company, in partnership with Citadel Theater and Royal Manitoba Theater Center. Sound of Music, Arts Club Theater Company, Talking Sex on Sunday, Fire Hall Art Center. Everybody! Yay! <laughs> and the Jesse goes to Sound of Music, Arts Club Theater Company. <laughs> Fantastic. Awesome. Awesome, well, awesome. Well done. Outstanding artistic creation, theater for young audiences. Ian Harmon, direction, Love You Forever and More Munch, Beach House Theater. Sherry J. Yoon, direction, Iron Peggy, Vancouver International Children's Festival with Boca de Lupo in association with Red Diva Projects. And the Jesse goes to Ian Harmon, direction, Love You Forever in Mormonch Beach House Theater. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> well done, awesome. Awesome. So, Tanya. Yes. We met how long ago? 31 years ago. 31 years ago. And um, just. Tell everyone what, how we met, what was going on. We met in the inaugural season of Barden the Beach. Actually, you know what, that's not true. That's not true. We met first when you directed Full House Theatre Companies under Milkwood. Under Milkwood in the Fringe Festival in 1989. That's right. Look at the boots. I know, <laughs> amazing. We go back a long, long way. It's awesome. Next. Next. Outstanding production. Theatre for Young Audiences. Love You Forever and More Munch, Beach House Theatre. Iron Peggy, Vancouver International Children's Festival and Boca del Lupo in association with Red Diva Projects. Thwaxia the Hungry Feast Dish, Axis Theatre Company. And the Jesse goes to Thwaxia the Hungry Feast Dish, Axis Theatre Company. <laughs> well <done. Woo. laughs> Congratulations. Outstanding production play, large theater. A Thousand Splendid Sons, Arts Club Theater Company, in partnership with Royal Manitoba Theater Center. Best of Enemies, Pacific Theater. Inheritance, a pick the path experience. Alley Theater and Touchstone Theater, in association with Vancouver Moving Theatre and community partnership with Vancouver Aboriginal Friendship Centre. Kuroko, Vancouver Asian Canadian Theatre, Noises Off, Arts Club Theatre Company. And the Jesse goes to Noises Off, Arts Club Theatre Company. Fantastic. Wonderful, and congratulations to everybody. It's fantastic. Well done, Tanya. Your go, sir. Well, hi, everyone. It's, it's really wonderful to be here uh, with Ta uh, Tanya Dixon Warren here in an empty theater. But uh, one day, we'll all be back. There'll be people sitting here and here, and we'll be watching you. I can't wait for that day. Meanwhile, we have this.
This is an award for the outstanding set design for the large theatres. Drew Facey, he designed Cost of Living for the Arts Club Theatre Company in partnership with the Citadel Theatre. Ted Roberts for Noises Off, Arts Club Theatre Company. Ted Roberts again, Birds and the Bees, Arts Club Theatre Company. Corey Sansen, Matilda, Arts Club Theatre Company in partnership with the Citadel Theatre and the Royal Manitoba Theatre Centre. And Sophie Tang, Kuroko, Vancouver Asian Canadian Theatre. And the winner is Drew Facey, Cost of Living Arts Club Theatre Company in partnership with the Citadel Theatre. <laughs> Wonderful. Well done, Drew. Outstanding set design for the small theatre, Shizuka Kai, Chicken Girl, for the Rice and Beans Theatre in partnership with Playwrights Theatre Centre, Amir Ofek, The Father, The Search Party, Sandy Margaret, The Sea, for the Slamming Door Artist Company, Ariel Slack, Superior Donuts, the Ensemble Theatre Company, and John R. Taylor, Deep Into Darkness, Third Wheel Productions. And the winner is... Amir Ofek, the father for the Search Party Theatre Company. Bravo. I was asked at lunch today, working at home, like everybody else, and we had uh, grandchildren come to us on Thursday and Fridays. My granddaughter, Stella, asked me, uh, how old was I when I went into the theater? She's 10, nearly 11. And I said, well, uh, at about your age, I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to go into the theater. But then she said, well, well where did you start? And I said, well, I, I guess plays my mother directed when I was six or seven. And then I was in the National Youth Theater. And then uh, I went to theater school and away we went. And that was, uh, I went to the Bristol Vic in 1970. So it's really a long time ago. Yeah. But you know what, the reason I'm telling you all this, and not only because Stella reminded me, inquired so lovingly, is that this is a love affair that we all have with the theater. It's an honorable and beautiful way to spend a life. And uh, I wish you all so well. If you have a life in the theater as half as good as mine, it'll be a great life. And can I add to that? Because I think one of the most beautiful things about theatre is it adapts, it changes, and it moves with the times, right? And I was thinking about how the practice, I'm sure, that Gilgood did in a rehearsal hall was very different what I did and what is now different, and it's now in the hands of other people, right? And it needs to adapt and change and um, grow, right? And I'm really, really inspired, actually, really inspired by what's happening. So, um, again, kick ass! Freaking community. That's wonderful, Tanya. I couldn't agree more. Yeah. And it's wonderful to still be going and part of all the changes yeah. that are happening. Good changes. These yeah. are good times. Yeah. Yeah. Gets me all weepy. Outstanding design, theater for young audiences. Jay Dodge, video design. For Iron Peggy, the Vancouver International Children's Festival, and Boca de Lupo in association with Red Diva Projects. Jay Havens, set design, Thoroxia, the Hungry Feast Dish, the Axis Theatre Company. Shizuka Kai, set design, Bad Hat Theatres, Peter Pan, Carousel Theatre for Young People. Shizuka Kai, set design, 
Iron Peggy, the Vancouver International Children's Festival, and Boca de Lupo in association with Red Diva Projects. And Kiara Lawson, costume design, Bad Hat Theatres, Peter Pan, the Carousel Theatre for Young People. And the winner is J. Dodge, Video Design, Iron Peggy, Vancouver International Children's Festival, and Boca de Lupo in association with Red Diva Projects. Outstanding Performance, Theatre for Young Audiences. Scott Button, New Canadian Kid, Green Thumb Theatre. Paige Fraser, What If, Green Thumb Theatre. Marlene Geneda, Bad Hats Theatres, Peter Pan, Carousel Theatre for Young People. Kelly Ogmanson, Bad Hats Theatres, Peter Pan. Carousel Theatre for Young People. Chelsea Rose, Thawaxia, The Hungry Feast Dish, Axis Theatre Company. And the winner is Marlene Geneda, Bad Hats Theatre's Peter Pan, Carousel Theatre for Young People. It's Yay! Yay! It's wonderful to see you, Tanya. It is wonderful to be here. And even though the theatre is empty, it's actually still full of heart. It is. It's amazing. You can and, feel it. And the you heart's all it. here. Yeah. And we're with you. It's it, great. It's great. It's great. So congratulations to everybody who was a recipient, to everybody who was nominated, and most importantly, to everybody in this entire community who makes beautiful, beautiful theatre. Keep going. Oh, look, look, Liz. <laughs> applause, applause. Applause, Keep... applause. I'm Lady Gaga. Applause, applause. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the faith. We'll be back. Oh, Marty, what are you working on? Oh, it's, it's just a script I've been workshopping over the last couple of years. Oh, really? I didn't know you were a writer. Uh, neither does the BC Arts Council, but uh, you got to do what you got to do to survive in this industry. Oh, yeah. Ain't that the truth? <sighs> it's the many things you do together, do together at the same time together that make uh, perfect performances. The hobbies you pursue together, hours you accrue together, words you misconstrue together that keep artists employed. Mm. But I think that's the new triple threat these days, you know, writing, acting, producing. Triple threat? Yeah. Just triple threat? Mm-hmm. Huh. Well, Mari, mm -hmm. uh, Sarah won the quintuple uh, threat award at the Off Jessies this year. You know, I think that Linda said it best when she called me the sex tuplet. It's the music you can write together, sing together, play together that make perfect performances. The concepts you can dream together, grants you have to write together, productions that you strike together that keep artists employed. It's easier to get cast if you can also choreo the show. Yeah. It's easier to get cast. And Jesus Christ, is it fun? It's learning to make props together, backdrops together, time stop together that make theater a joy. The Insta feeds you stream together, costumes that you seem together, charm you have to gleam together, that make perfect performances. All that, eh? Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay, okay, but how many people are actually quintuplets? Uh, Amanda Sum, uh -huh. Amanda Testini, Carmen Aguirre, yep. uh, Alexander Lanfiesta, Christine mm -hmm. Quintana, uh, Sarah Jean Hosey, okay. Megan yep. Gardner, Tracy Power. I could, I could go on. Wow, you just named a bunch of women. Surprising. Let's head on to our last chunk of awards with Stephen Heatley. Hello, Vancouver theater community. 
My name's Stephen Heatley. It is my pleasure and privilege to be the head of the Department of Theater and Film at the University of British Columbia. And uh, we are pleased to be supporters of the Jesse Awards. It's uh, strange times that we're living in, and uh, I'm glad that we can come together at least uh, on YouTube. Just hope everyone's doing well, and uh, I'm uh, lucky because I get to announce some of these awards. Outstanding performance by an actress in a lead role, large theater. Celia Aloma, Best of Enemies, Pacific Theater. Dina Aziz, A Thousand Splendid Sons, Arts Club Theater Company in partnership with Royal Manitoba Theater Center. Erla Fay Forsyth, The Cake, Pacific Theater. Moya O'Connell, Coriolanus, Bard on the Beach Shakespeare Festival. Anita Wittenberg, Mother of the Maid, Pacific Theater. And the Jesse goes to Dina Aziz, A Thousand Splendid Sons, Arts Club Theater Company in partnership with Royal Manitoba Theater Center. Outstanding performance by an actress in a lead role, small theater. Lois Anderson, Annabella Ema, Soul Theater Collective. Jillian Fargi, The Father, The Search Party. Genevieve Fleming, The Sea, Slamming Door Artist Collective. Louisa Jojic, Herringbone, Patrick Street Productions. Faye Wren, Lungs, St. Fifi Collective. And the Jesse goes to Jillian Fargi, The Father, The Search Party. Outstanding performance by an actor in a lead role, large theater. Daryl Dennis, Inheritance, A Pick the Path Experience. Alley Theater and Touchstone Theater in association with Vancouver Moving Theater and Community Partnership with Vancouver Aboriginal Friendship Center. Charlie Gallant, Noises Off, Arts Club Theater Company. Charlie Gallant, Shakespeare in Love, Bard on the Beach Shakespeare Festival. Robert Salvador, Best of Enemies, Pacific Theater. Todd Thompson, The Wedding Party, Arts Club Theater Company in partnership with Prairie Theater Exchange. And the Jesse goes to, look, a smiley face. Robert Salvador, Best of Enemies, Pacific Theater. Outstanding performance by an actor in a lead role, small theater. Paul Herbert, Born Yesterday, Ensemble Theater Company. Peter Jorgensen, Herringbone, Patrick Street Productions. Kevin McNulty, The Father, The Search Party. David Nickel, Superior Donuts, Ensemble Theater Company. And Alex Santos, Lungs, St. Fifi Collective. And the Jesse goes to Kevin McNulty, The Father, The Search Party. Congratulations, everyone. Okay. All right. Yay. We did it. Congratulations, everybody. Yeah, congrats, everyone. We're coming almost mm -hmm. to the end of the night, but before we close her down, we got a bunch of thank yous. Yes. First of all, I want to say thank you to all the volunteers everywhere in the theater community who man the doors, yep. and fundraise, and all that kind of stuff. Tend the bar. Yep. We want to thank the Jesse juries and everybody involved in the Jesse's, the Jesse board. Uh, it's a volunteer board, so if you're looking for a way to get more involved in the community and make more of a difference, hey, get there with the Jesse's. Get volunteer out there. with the Jesse's. Yep. Uh, Ryan and Jordan behind the camera. Woo! Shout out. Hey. Shout out. Everyone who sponsored the Jesse's this year. Melanie. Melanie, our wonderful interpreter and hanging out over there. When will, when will she signify that we're talking about her? Oh, there yeah, it is. <laughs> Alistair. <laughs> Alistair, who's uh, the tech for the Fire Hall, the Fire Hall Arts Center, who donated the space for us today. They've got, they're starting up their, their live performances are happening. They've got Dancing on the Edge coming up here. So see some live stuff, everybody. Uh, Diversity Committee, Carol McDonald. I'm sure there's people we missed, but thank you to everyone who joined us to celebrate theater this year and everybody who made awesome theater this year. Yep. We Agreed. appreciate you. We do appreciate it. Thank you guys. It was really fun. Okay. It's, uh, I think it's time. 
Are you ready? I, I think it's time. I just left.